So what's it like to act as Jesus in the Easter play? Well, let's find out. So what's up everybody? My name is Joshua, we are a bold follower, and I just wanted to share with you a recent opportunity I had uh, to portray Jesus in a Good Friday skit for Easter at a local church. And I just wanted to say a little bit about my experience because maybe you can relate and maybe it can bless you. Um, they essentially just asked me because with the hair and the beard, I kind of resemble the Hollywood Jesus. Um, you know, the mainstream media's version of Jesus that's in all the movies and stuff. And I'll be first to tell you that uh, no one knows exactly what Jesus looked like, but with what little we do know, it very likely was not exactly like this. But anyway, I digress. Um, when I got first asked if I would be able to, if I would be in the play as Jesus, I said, yes, absolutely. I was hyped. I was excited. I was enthusiastic. And then we had a meeting and I was handed the script. See, it wasn't enough to resemble Jesus. I had to say what he said and do what he did. And that was just nuts because it was essentially 15 minutes. It was about five or six pages of just Jesus monologuing. And uh, I'm not an actor. I mean, every once in a while I do like a little play here and there, but my parts were few. And sometimes I would only have like one line, if any. So like this was way out of my wheelhouse and all eyes would be on me. And let me tell you something. It's one thing to act as a character. It's another thing to act as Jesus, an actual person who actually lived and we have actual quotes verbatim of what he said. If I mess up, the whole place is going to notice. <laughs> it had to be perfect. So, but in faith, I kept my word. And I worked as hard as I could to learn it. And I wish I could say that all of my hard work led to it being awesome, but that is not true. In fact, I actually wanted to give up. I did not want to do it. I was like, this is way too much, it's way over, too overwhelming. There's no way I can be like Jesus. And it was just 15 minutes, but I couldn't do it. The pressure of speaking perfectly and all eyes on me, I, I just wanted to give up. But then my friend said, hey, I can set up a teleprompter for you. And all you have to do is follow along and that's it. And I was like, no, whoa, that's crazy. Are you serious? So the pressure of being perfect was off. All I had to do was follow along with the teleprompter and everything would be just fine. No way. That was a dream come true. In my mind, to me, that was a miracle because I was like, there's no way this is going to happen. There's no way. Um, and I <laughs> and I share that because my acting is as Jesus in a play kind of reminded me of even my own walk being a representative as Jesus in life. Uh, because I, we eagerly say yes to being a Christian, yes to following Jesus, but we don't quite realize what it takes to, to truly imitate Jesus, to be an ambassador of Jesus. Uh, Christian means little Christ, to truly be that person who is that Christ, uh, Christ uh, representative in someone's life, especially if they don't have the Bible or something like that. It's crazy. I, I, I would argue that it's, it's not just difficult, it's not just hard, it's literally impossible to do that. But if we stand in faith, and if we keep moving, as we go, like the teleprompter giving me the words, the Holy Spirit will give us the words and the things to do and the things to say at the right time. And all the pressure of being perfect just falls off. You can't be perfect, and I can't be perfect, definitely not perfect, but we can humble ourselves and be obedient. And as we make sure to do our best just to be obedient and to keep up with the pace and prompting of the Holy Spirit, we will see Jesus, not just with beards and hair on stage, but in every part of our life, and even the parts that we never thought it was possible parts that we thought were impossible. So I hope these reflections of acting as Jesus bless you. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care.